Get off your lazy potato chip Even eating though your bum. parents may say gaming is bad. You just hear about it's these not. stories because they are headline worthy. Find the knowledge in everything. That's my biggest lesson to you, and I hope you can find knowledge in this video. This experience will not only help strengthen your attention span, but will also provide other valuable information about life as a whole. I'm 18, meaning that I have lots of recent experiences that can benefit those of both young ages in the middle school to high school range, and old ages, as I believe you are never too old to stop learning, even from someone younger than you. So sit back, relax, and immerse yourself in the experience as I take you through the journey of my life, week by week. Each Minecraft day in this world, I will cover the past week of my life, sharing both my personal progress and experiences with you as well as tips and habits that will help you if you start them early in your life. I'll start you guys out right with the fun I've had in this past week or so. I've watched a great number of movies and shows, even to the point where I would call myself a movie connoisseur. Don't ask me how to spell that. While many would consider movies to be a waste of time, well, quite frankly, they probably are. But I enjoy them, and I think that they are an important enjoyment in life. Anyways, I've watched the first and second Nornia movies, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, Aquaman, and Godzilla x Kong, The New Empire. And to be honest, they're all good movies. But if I had to rank them from best to worst, I would say number one, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, because it is a movie about monkeys. That outsmart humans, and that's just amazing. I mean, who wouldn't love that storyline? Enough said. Second is Nornia, Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Then, Nornia, Prince Caspian at number three. The second one has two major action sequences, whereas the first one only has one. However, the original takes the bread and butter as the introduction to Nornia, the betrayal by Edmund, and the sacrifice by Aslan make for a beautiful story. The symbolism to Jesus through Aslan is great too. Number four, Godzilla x Kong. And five, Aquaman. Big Monsters fighting trumps a semi-good DC movie any day of the week. Finally, the new show I've been introduced to as of late is The Walking Dead. I just realized my audience once again and suggest that you get parent approval to watch it. But it's amazing. I was actually watching it while I typed up this script. Now where do most movies get inspiration from? Go on. I'll let you think for a second and comment what you think. That's right, or wrong, I guess, depending on your answer, but it's books. These are one of the most valuable tools you can have. All the book haters are boiling right now, but trust me, I know. I grew up a kid that went from loving books at a young age to despising reading by the time I reached middle school to high school range, understanding their value now. You see, I'm a strong believer in reading for knowledge gain, reading to further my chances of being successful later in life. Reading for fun seems like one of the biggest wastes of time out there, but reading beneficial books will help form habits that will lead to a life of success. Atomic Habits is one of the books I have started reading recently. I am aiming to try and read 30 minutes each day whenever I can. I'm failing at that right now, so I'm not too far in, but I will try to keep you updated in my future videos like these about how I'm doing at developing this habit and the knowledge that I gained from the book. You know, I challenge you to pick up a book and read it while this challenge is going on. Read with me. Type of deal. Past week, I've also picked up working out again. And I know what you might be thinking. Working out seems like a lot of work. Lifting weights isn't my style, actually. However, the benefits of working out should be more than enough to motivate you to get off your lazy potato chip eating bum and work out. You don't even have to lift weights. You could walk, run, do push-ups, or even yoga so long as you are burning calories and being active because it not only gets the body more physically in shape, but I believe it aids in the improvement of your mental and emotional health as well. I'm not saying you have to go crazy on working out, but working out or exercising two to four days each week would be a beneficial improvement to your life. If you need to get a gym bro to work out with you and keep you accountable, then do so. Ghoul, sore subject that drains people to their core. But you should know that school is more beneficial than you think. You hear all these stories about largely successful people that dropped out of high school or college. But in reality, the odds of becoming one of these success stories are very little. Less than if you just go to college. You just hear about these stories because they are headline worthy. Someone completing four years of college after high school, then becoming successful isn't as good of a story. So make the most of school, because an education can get you far in life, and you're lucky to have it. 
Plus, the goal of school isn't necessarily to teach you everything you need to know, but the goal of school is to develop a love for learning so that you can find the thing you're passionate about. Love to learn about it, and then become successful from it. Having a social life is another important aspect to living a healthy life, as living in isolation dampers the mental state of a person. Even for the most antisocial people, isolation leads to nothing but sadness. Therefore, organizing hangouts whether online or in person at least two times a week can be beneficial. Even though your parents may say gaming is bad, it's not. In smaller doses and with friends, it can be a beneficial, fun, and social experience. Now, I'm not saying disobey your parents and play video games 12 hours a day, because that's a terrible idea. That sort of thing does stuff to you mentally and physically that just isn't good. Addiction is bad when it comes to a lot of things. Finally, my relationship with Jesus Christ is the most important aspect of my life, and I strongly encourage each of you to read the Bible and accept Jesus as Lord and Savior yourselves. All these things lead to a balanced life, which is a healthy life. Now, how could AI impact this healthy life? Could they be living among us? Click here to find out. I know a lot of people say it, but it truly is important. Never wish time away, because it'll be gone before you know it.